Flooding is the number one cause of death when it comes to landfalling hurricanes. We've learned over the years that when the tide comes up, the water moves in. Even on a sunny day with a brisk south wind, tides just a few feet above normal will flood LA-82 in Cameron Parish. Here at Sibmore Point, of course, we're at sea level, so any water rise would be how high the water would get. But that doesn't include the waves that come along with the wind. A storm surge of 20 feet, similar to what we saw with Hurricanes Rita and Ike, would put water up to those palm trees. Hurricane Rita's storm surge flooding was significant in Delcom. It prompted a number of homes being raised over the years. As coastal erosion continues, there's less buffer from these storms, and flooding will be a bigger issue in the future. At just three feet above sea level, a 20-foot storm surge would put Delcom under 17 feet of water. That's enough to go as high as the top of this mural. See the difference in New Iberia's historic Main Street. The elevation, about 15 feet. But at times, with a 20-foot storm surge, you could see five feet of water on Main Street. And that would even count what comes in from Bayou Tesh. And here in Franklin, you'll be treading in 11 feet of water under the lampposts. Each of these cities are within a few miles of the Gulf of Mexico. But what about Lake Arthur? Sitting over 30 miles from the coast, the wetlands between offer no protection. Lake Arthur, at about 4 to 5 feet above sea level, would see over 15 feet of storm surge coming up the Mermintaw through Grand Lake. For Acadiana's News Channel, I'm meteorologist Dave Baker.